All right, so I'm going to do Saturday and Sunday, probably in one video, um, just to keep it easy. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll have Wi-Fi. I can actually write something up um, or something like that. So this is from Saturday. This is at a underground parking lot that's abandoned, obviously. It's got a bunch of graffiti and stuff on it, but it was raining really hard, and it has some sweet reflections uh, in the water of the graffiti. So, let's see. Oops, I'm still in quick time. Okay, um, that's probably gonna... Okay, there we go. So, this is the data. So, 1 60th of a second. I was shooting with a 50 millimeter lens, so 1 60th for stability. F2.2. Um, 1.4 is a little bit soft. Anything lower than that, so 2.2, I try to... I like it around there. Oh, and then ISO 250 just to keep it um, nice and bright. I did have to raise it about a stop, so I probably sh I could have gone up to 400 or four or 500 even. Um, but you know, I can do that in, ed in editing and it's kind of the same thing. Maybe a little bit less noise if what I, I would have done it in camera, but that's okay. So, talk about composition for a second. So these diagonal lines, it's very it's symmetrical, so this is about in the middle. Um, I'll show you the end crop version. So it's pretty tall, but I like to have it cropped down. So get rid of what I don't want. You're obviously drawn into this, the lightest part, but then you can see the reflection. There's nice colors. Um, uh, there's some that are like uh, was it this one? Yeah. These ones are a little bit wider, but it's just an awkward place to shoot because the light part's here. It would have been nice to have the staircase coming down from the other side, um, just compositionally because it's it's an awkward kind of angle to shoot at. Um, so you can see it leads your the, the eye away from the from the stair, which I don't really like. Um, but you know. That's why I shot vertical, so it turns into less about horizontal space and more about vertical space, which is what I wanted uh, to, because it's a reflection of the staircase, so it's uh, vertical. I like portrait orientation more anyway. So that was why I picked that photo over some of the other uh, landscape or horizontal uh, ones. So for editing, that's what it looked like out of the camera, and that's afterwards. So basically, what I did, I already said I upped the stop by one, or up the exposure by one stop. Drag the highlights down, because um, the one stop blew out these highlights back here. Raise the shadows and raise the clarity and raise the vibrance. So all this upped sort of the contrast towards the high end, kept the blacks the same brought out the shadows and also you know increased the, the vibrance a bit in the colors to bring those out um, let's see did I do I did a little bit of lens correction if you look here it's really slight but it helps straighten out those ang those lines a little bit it's still kind of weird I think it's just because of the the ground in there and the ceiling aren't exactly straight so this line in the middle is straight, but the, the ground and this are a little bit off canter, so that kind of bugs me, but the middle straight, so, and these are obviously straight because they're stairs and stuff, so that's, that's that, uh, I don't think I did anything else to it. I darkened the blues and up the saturation a bit in the blues, purples, and greens, just to make those pop a little more. So that's that one. Um, and I'll post the rest of these on Facebook so you can check out the other ones from Saturday. So let's go over to Sunday. Okay. So I did a panorama. I shot vertically and uh, zoomed in to 
62 millimeters. So that compresses the, um, the space. So the clouds are bigger in relation to the ground. If I would have shot wider angle, things would look bigger and more expansive, but I wanted to have the, the, the field and the clouds almost in the same space. It also makes the mountains appear bigger. Um, so they're not just, you know, little specks. So I shot this. I have about 30 to 40 percent overlap, if you see. So you can see it right there. Um, to right here. So that's, you know, a good amount of overlap. So this part right here, so it's about 30 percent. Um, Photoshop had no trouble combining that. It's just edit in panorama in Photoshop, crop down the edges around it, and once it loads, it doesn't being slow today. Okay, so before. That's how it came out. I did the panorama before I did any editing. So now I get it to look like that. So a lot better. Just in my opinion. So, I have two gradient filters. This one affects the ground. You can see the, you can't see the overlay, but it's it's affecting this area right here. Highlights are up, clarity is up, saturation up. Saturation doesn't matter anymore because it's black and white, but originally I had it in color. Um, but clarity and highlights, so that's brightening it a lot, adding in local contrast, makes it look a little bit more like a sunny day, because this is just, it was just flat, boring light, so I had to add some pop to it. Um, the other one was for the clouds. Come on. Which lets me select it. There we go. Contrast, highlights up, clarity up, shadows up, any of that, um, exposure's up. So that's for the clouds. So that's brightening them, increasing the contrast, increasing the clarity, so it's making them more dramatic, essentially. Um, you just kind of have to play around with these. It depends on the settings, but for clouds, you generally want to increase the contrast above, um, across the board. Mostly though in the midtones, though. So that's why the clarity, highlights, and shadows are up because that's affecting this middle area rather than just the two extremes. Okay. So I don't think didn't use an elliptical. So brush. I had three of those. So I did another one over the clouds. Clarity up. Again, that's affecting this middle part of the histogram. Um, so it's increasing contrast. Just in the midtones on the clouds. Then I had this one, which is just over the mountains. And that's exposure up, shadows up, clarity up. So that one, I'll toggle these. It's brightening up the mountains, bringing out the detail. And one over the, the grass. So if you just look at the grass, that's increasing exposure. That's it with that one. So then for basic, didn't do anything that. These are all local adjustments. Um, nothing, nothing. I might have done a little bit of noise reduction. Nope. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Oh. Come on. Okay. So, detail, uh, lens correction. I believe, yeah, there's a little bit of a vignette. You can see that. So it just helps kind of draw your eye to the middle. I like vignettes, some people really don't. I do, just for a personal thing. That one almost might be too much though for me. So just... Um... So that just softens the transition area. There's no problem with this. Yeah. Mm. Really on the fence about it now. I think we'll keep it though. I like it. It adds just to the mountains. And that's that. Also got some cow pictures, which I will post on Facebook as well. And leave a comment or something like that. We'd be happy to do a video about how I edited those or um, any of these ones. 
views, thumbs, any of that. Alright, see you tomorrow.